Hello. Well, uh, I'm in Whitstable. Uh, it's a Sunday evening. We're right smack bang in the middle of our tour. It's the cent central date, it's the 11th date of our 22 day tour. Um, and we played River Cottage last night and uh, we're in Whitstable now, which is in Kent for all you Americans um, watching. Uh, which is on the uh, imagine if America was England, Whistable would be kind of like uh, Georgia, or like South Carolina, or something like that. Um, and um, if you have a look, that bit there, that bit down there, that's called that's called the street. Have it in the background there. That's called the street, which apparently, in uh, some people believe. In age old times was um was a road that led to some kind of Atlantis type type city that was out in the sea. That is now being covered by the sea. And this was the old time, the old road that would lead to the to, to the sea. And others just say it's just a sandbank. But when the tide is like it is now, uh, you can walk right out into the sea, which I'm just about to do. Um, but if you look here as well, look over there. Um that's what Whistable is famous for, which are the multicoloured beach huts. And uh, you see out there into the sea, there's, um, there's a wind farm there. Which personally, I've got not a problem. I haven't got a problem with. But people seem to have a big problem with wind farms. Um, but aren't they, aren't they beautiful? All those little beach huts look. Um, some run down, some um, very well kept. And um, apparently, it's, it's buzzing today in Whistable because um, there's lots of um, DFLs. Which is not a uh, housing store. It's actually a uh, means down from London. Down from London, DFLs. Oh, there's a wolf type creature here. Look, look at that. Fantastic. I think it's a wolf. Um, okay, brilliant. Uh, so here we are, Whitstable. I think we're going to do about. I did quite well on Whitstable tonight. I'm very much looking forward to the soup and seafood because that's what. That's what. Um, that's what Seaf um, Whistable is always also famous for, can't speak, uh, are uh, the oysters and the seafood. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I've starved myself all day. But let's have another little look at Whistable. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice there, look. There you go. That's uh, beautiful. Come on. Ah, that's lovely. Beautiful. I think that it's, uh, it's mid-October in England. In October in England, it's warm. I've got a t-shirt on. Rocking. Okay, sorry enough. Hello. Well, here I am on the street. There's Whitstable. It's quite unique, really. It's quite a bizarre situation. But you know, look at it. You know, in a way, you know, life's a bit like this. You know, it's like a bit of a journey, and it's quite unique, and quite beautiful. But you can see the end, you know the end's coming. And, uh, you know, and then it stops. And then you kind of have to turn around. But you can't really turn around in life, can you? Can't really go back. That'd be all right there, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so there's my little analogy. The street in Wisdable is like life. There you go. I should ponder on that for a while. I thought it was pretty good myself. All right, see ya.